An elderly Southeast Houston man died Sunday after a series of illnesses. The 84-year-old man's death went almost unnoticed, except by those who knew him well and knew that he, in fact, had lived several lives. Frank Mann was a designer of cars, airplanes, and spacecraft, among other things, and Stephen Govain reports. Wherever there was a band and pretty women, you could find Frank Mann tirelessly dancing. He danced at small clubs or on a big stage. It didn't matter. This was last year in Herman Park when he was 83. Sixty years ago, Mann met Howard Hughes, and the two eventually worked together on the famous Spruce Goose. Mann also designed cars, but didn't guard his drawings well. A competitor used one of his designs to make the Corvette. In his Southeast Houston auto mechanics shop last year, Mann told me he had to fight for acceptance because of his color. I looked at it this way. If I can do more than the average and get the recognition that people are going to accept me for what I've done and what I am. Man also loved trains, but racial barriers once kept him out of a railroad hobbyist club. Man figured to show the membership that snubbed him that he knew something about trains, so he built this steam locomotive single-handedly. He put it together in six months, and when it was finished, he used it to give local kids a ride. Now the Smithsonian Institution wants the train to exhibit. It's just a terrible loss. It's, it's going to be something that uh, had to be through his death that he'll have to be remembered. Right. Man's friends and business partners remembered him, uh -huh. saying he often it's helped students. Out. From the Orange Club over there, kids would come over here, and he would talk to them, and some kids came here from Germany. On Sunday, Frank Mann went to a place he often sang about. What is the world called? How do you get us back? How do you get us back? How do you get us back? How do you get us back?